Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great men, on the blue well, and that thought is the truth, among many other things. Salutation to all the sincere Achim out there, you know, that are going out on the highways and hedges, waking up the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. You know, the bunch of bywords, we are the true Hebrew Israelites, you know. So, to all y'all brothers and sisters out there listening, shalom to y'all as well. You know, so just wanted to go into scriptures concerning. Um, you know, it's a very beautiful thing that the Most High has uh, awakened you. You know, into um, you know, to this truth, man, to this truth, to come into the truth. You know, y'all are designed. Okay, also, uh, I almost want to speak Dutch. Also, uh, stick into this, man. You know, Second like Corinthians, uh, chapter one, verse three. Blessed be Yahweh, even the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Masiah, the Father of mercies, and the Father of all comfort. Because that's why it's a very a beautiful thing. And you go to things. The Most High puts the Spirit on you uh, to just open up the Bible, for instance, and you, your eyes fall upon the scripture that you need. Or you go on to YouTube. You be like, hey, let me just check something out. And then your eyes fall on the video with the information, with the, um, you know, comfort that you need, or also with the correction that you need, man. You know, so and the comfort goes here to Paraclesis, a calling near summons, especially for help. You know, imploration, supplications, entreaty, exhortation, admonition, encouragement. Because yeah, man, there's a lot of times in this world you might feel down, and you need that. Uh, that motivation, man. You need that encouragement to to go on. That consolation, comfort, you know, solace, a place, you know, that which affords comfort and refreshment, and that's what it is. Because you you being all dirtied up by negative uh, thoughts, you know, uh, people might be messing with you. You had a messed up day or messed up, uh, basically, period of time. Uh, that you had to go to some things, but also don't forget, don't, um, you know, um, don't, um, what was the word again? Um, the chastisement of the Lord, what was it again, man? It escaped me. But you shouldn't be mad about it, let me just say that, you know? But that's the point. Uh, so let me go back. Um, he also says thus of the messianic salvation, so the rabbis called the Messiah, the consoler, the comforter. You know, what did, did the Lord uh, leave? You know, the spirit of truth, which is uh, the comforter, you know, the Holy Spirit. You know, so you, you're never alone. So, let me go back. Let me also go into the word mercies. A mercy goes into oik. Tirmos, compassion, pity, mercy, bowels in which compassion resides, a heart of compassion. Yeah, that's why when it says if, if someone cast away his bowels, he casts off mercy, you know, that uh, agape, that brotherly love. And that's what people do when they sell out, so to, so to say. They cast that aside because your soul belongs to the Lord. He's the father of all spirits. He take it back, the spirit which he gave. Your, your body goes back to the, to the earth, to the dust, and your spirit goes up again, you know, like the book of Ecclesiastes explains. So, emotions, long as manifestations of pity. And the Most High has mercy. He shows pity to the ones that, you know, repent. You know, he's very long-suffering. And also, the book of Surah 2 and 10 also goes into, into that. And many other scriptures go into that. So, don't despise the, the chastening of the Lord, you know. <laughs> you know, don't despise it because he's, he's, uh, he's refining you. And let me go to uh, 2 Timothy, what was it, 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh. It's a, it's a man. He's speaking also by inspiration of the Heavenly Father. And even his prophets, you know, how do they speak? To the spirit of Yahweh, man. It's his spirit. It's not a man, it's like Second Peter 1 and 19 states. It's through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh man. We can't do this by ourselves. We think you think we're that great, <laughs> you know. 
Jacob thou worm. We are very, uh, uh, we are like in the eyes of the Lord, very small. But yet through his mercy, we can become great. You know, blessed, I must say. Because great, it's, you know, I already not put that title upon myself, but hey. You understand what I try to say. All scripture is, by, uh, is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine. It's beneficial for, for doctrine. You're going to uh, be instructed through these words for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, man. And all righteousness is of the Lord. It's not of ourselves. That the man of Yahweh may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. And that is the whole thing that we need to be doing. You know, and that's the spirit because I also wanted to go into uh, that. We're going to go to, into that in a minute, Yara um, Tazah. Well, let me go into it now. Revelation chapter 5, um, verse, uh, what was it again? No, Salakia, I got it mixed. It's Revelation 2, verse 5 that I wanted to go in. This is Revelation 2, verse 5. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. And repent, you know. If you go, you 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 dirtied up by uh, uh, you know negativity by uh, going off. Repent, man. We are justified to the Lord, you know. So the Lord might be like, okay, you know this. Uh, 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 you know we have a mediator. So when we pray, the Lord brings uh, uh, our prayers to. Uh, he presents our prayers to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, which is a great honor. Especially if you, if you know, think about the things, you know, like back in the world, all you know, this nonsense that you're doing, and sometimes still your mind drifts off to a certain, uh, in that in certain direction, you need to catch yourself, like, hey, I should stop tripping like that, man. You know, sometimes your flesh, you know, uh, gets the best of you, but you should be, you know, rebuking. Also, spirits jump on you, of course, but you should be rebuking and those spirits and. Think about the good uh, the good things that the Lord has done for you because a lot of people, the scriptures also say in the good times, you know, in the times of uh, prosperity, there's a, there's a forgiveness of affliction in the, the time of affliction. There's a forgiveness of uh, the times of prosperity, to uh, uh, roughly paraphrase it. So the good times make you forget the bad times. The bad times make you forget about the good times. And you, can, and you still, you know, you can still have like a, a great blessing in good time like a, a few days ago or a day ago, but if you go to really, to something really bad, the thought just jumps into your mind, like, man, hell this with all this, uh, of course, because the world is wicked, the world is messed up, but still, then you need to catch yourself, like, hey, wait, 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 the Lord did so much, so much, and even, I can't even say like he did it, because he did, so that's why the scriptures also say you can never praise him enough, never thank him enough. It can't be reckoned into numbers how how much the Lord had done, how beautiful the Lord uh, is, and how uh, great he is. He is great, and he blessed us. You know, so we can't be uh, bent out of shape when something happens. It's to make you better. Sec uh, Second Maccabees chapter six, if I'm correct, from verse twelve on down to like seventeen, explains you that this book. Is uh, you no, know, you shouldn't be discouraged by the things that we read because there's a lot of beauty that is awaiting us. And with these heathen nations, he's straight, he's straight, just letting them do their things, letting them go up to a certain extent so he can utterly chop them down. With us, he's correcting you, you know, he's correcting us, he's correcting the, the, the bad habits that we have so that we can come back, you know, we are refreshed again to the spirit of the Lord back to the way that we, uh, uh, you know, where we need to walk, uh, you know, basically, the, the, the right path. It's, it's hard, but broad is the way that leads to destruction. So what do you want to do? Want to have fame right here in this world? Being a damn sort of man? You know, having pictures of you in all types of compromising positions? Ugh, I can't even, ugh, it's, it's horrible. You know, having to give up your family members, uh, doing, doing all types of morally... You know, moralist, immoral acts. We are men of integrity. You know, of respect, of honor. Yahweh does not. Do we slip up? Yeah, righteous man fall seven times, but get him back up again, man. So remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Take a look at our forefathers, man. 
Do we need to, uh, 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 you know, worship all the gods of Egypt and all, all these other Hamitic tribes out there, or fashion ourselves after the image of the beast of this, this of, uh, of Babylon of America? You know, the Roman Empire revived again. That whore, that harlot, with, that that ride it upon the scarlet, uh, scarlet color, uh, colored beast. You know, with all the pearls, all the things. Yay, the American dream. Like the Apostle Gabor often said, you have to be asleep to believe in that, man. And what does the scripture say? You know, also, of course, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, but also to wake the hell up. Wake up, man. We have to wake up. Let me go. So, like, if we jump in a bit, I just wanted to roll. In the spirit, man, uh, Romans 13 and 11, and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Because this is this 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 day of Esau is, is, is done, man. You know, you can go into more, but Revelation 2 and 5, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, turn back. You can only go back to something that you have been a part of. If you, hey, we have been redeemed, right? So you bring something to the pawn shop, and you redeem your item. You you, you get it back. We are purchased by the blood of Yahweh Shai. We belong to the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, and not to these damn devils. And if you want to act like you belong to the devil by taking the MOTB, bleeding for them instead of sticking to the Lord. Bleeding for him, because that's what we did through circumcision. We are cleansed through the uh, through the blood of Yahweh Shai. So you you count that blood as being of of uh, of no uh, significance, because that's what you're doing. If you go back to the world, you're trying to crucify Yahweh Shai fresh by going off in a horrible manner, sitting down with the devil, making leagues with them, taking his harachma. Or you want to stick it out and become a man of the Lord, a real man, girding up your loins, going through hardship. I don't want to be sounding like I never uh, go to trouble because, hey, you know, why do you think I make these type of, you know, I, I like these type of videos. I like the consolation scriptures. I like, uh, you know, because it's, it's, it's very, I say that, it's very comforting to read about you going through certain things and we all go through them and, and that's why that make that makes a brotherhood stronger by going through things together we all go through things man but what is the solution taking to see him bending down for the damn devil going on the knee for a devil following females that's that's horrific man and doing those things do you think you get your respect so you want to live your life on a damn cave dweller, a monkey, that doesn't respect you. And then you want, on top of that, you want to take his see him to seal the deal? Like, I really belong to you. Come on, man. And do the first works. So remember, therefore, Revelation 2 and 5, remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. So lucky for repeating it again. And repent. And do the first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove that candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So we need to do this uh, this job that we need to be doing, man, and stick to the Lord. Revelation 3, verse um, 2, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. You know, you know, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. You know, you will get a crown of life. If you stick, man, if you stick to this truth, like in Revelation 2 and 10, you know, it's a rock, chapter 4, around 23 on down, it's around there. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. You know, strengthen uh, the things which remain and that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before Yahweh. Remember therefore now how, Salakia, thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. So again, repent, turn back. Can only go back to something that you've been that where you've been already. If you say you go uh, back home, you don't jump into someone else's house like Esau's doing now in the spirit by taking our identity, taking uh, he even takes it and he's everyone except the the devil, and that makes it really easy, uh, uh, you know, easy to see what this devil is about because he's he's trying to be 
everyone, even the Hamites, man. <laughs> That's funny. So you are, are African, so-called. You know, but <laughs> it's ridiculous, man, with these movies about Moses and they, the old cast are white. And of course, if you have certain slaves, then they are dark. They want to perpetuate that white supremacy ag agenda, man, the red supremacy agenda, because they're really red. Eat them. Red. So, hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So, you need to be very careful with uh, uh, what you're doing. And watch as well as pray, as the Lord said, or else you're not going to see. How, how can you watch? Check the scriptures. Check the news. See uh, what, what things are popping off, what prophecies are popping off, man. L listen to the apostles and elders, the, the, the elder bishops of Great Millstone, you know. Check the videos. Check your surroundings, man. Be circumspect. Don't walk as fools. Walk as the ones that are wise, you know, through the scriptures. In the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. 2 Corinthians 1 and 3, Blessed be Yahweh, even the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Masayah, the Father of mercies and the power of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation. You might go through hell, but the Lord always will be there. He won't cut you down and put you in situations that you can't handle. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13, They had no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. So all these tests, these trials that you're going through, it's, it's common to man, you know, the heavenly father, Yahweh, but Yahweh is faithful, you know, faithful goes into trustworthy, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but with, uh, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So with the temptation that's coming on your path, the Heavenly Father allows to come on your path. And don't let no man say that he's tempted by the Lord. The Lord allows certain things to happen to you. He's not uh, uh, the one that you can say like, Oh, the Lord did. No, no, no. He has certain spirits on the, uh, on the right and on the left. They both play their part. And you live out your lot. Being judged for your previous life. You know, now you're living out that, that, that judgment. After death come in judgment, as the scriptures say, man. But that's all on the video. And here it goes into... Uh, the temptation goes into pyrosmos, you know, which also goes into uh, a word in Revelation chapter 3. And, and to try, let me see, yeah, yeah, 3 and 10, you see? The temptation, the hour of temptation. You know, everyone will be tried, the whole world. But when the sea hip is going to be made mandatory by law. So pyrosmos, temptation, an experiment, uh, attempt, trial, proving. Are you going to stay faithful? Like it says here, uh, where was it? Oh, that goes into the other word that goes into. Um, but here also, temptation, here, adversity, affliction, trouble sent by Yahweh. No, it is the, the Heavenly Father allows it. He can send certain spirits in the world. He did send spirits in the world to trouble people. But you will come to, on certain paths that, you know, will sift out. And, uh, and what is the remaining part thereof? That's your true character. That will come out at that time. And if you, if you slip up, you can work on it. You see, like, oh, this went wrong. I pray to do better next time. Adversity, affliction, trouble sent by the Heavenly Father and serving to test or prove one's character, faith, holiness. Temptation, i.e. trial of, Yahweh, of the Heavenly Father by men. And that's basically what it is. A putting to proof by experiment of good, experience of evil, uh, solicitation, discipline, or provocation by, impl by implication, adversity, temptation, try. You know, and you go, can go into pairazzo, try to try where that thing can be done. So that's why you go to some hardship. Acceptable men are, 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 are tried in the furnace of adversity. So you're going to go like gold in the fire. But now, as a man, you're going to be in that fire. That fire represents the troubles, the, the trials and tribulations, which the Lord went through. So the servant is not greater than the Lord. They persecuted him. They, they, they're going to persecute us. You're going through some, uh, he went through hell. We're going to go through hell. But we're going to 
go to some things which the most high puts on uh, uh allows to be put on our on our path as you walk a certain way and yeah because i read you know uh, sent by every father he allows it he's he's the one that uh you know is in in in, in uh in power so but to uh explain it so the things that come, come on your path are may uh, are there to make you stronger to try and make trial of test for the purpose of ascertaining to see uh, what your quality is you know or what he thinks or how he will behave himself you know what can, what are you gonna do he says of of, of god to inflict evils upon one in order to prove his character and the steadfastness of his faith just like with satan he had to ask for permission he could do certain things but he left it in the hands of satan but he said don't kill him but he had to satan had to get the the green light to play job satan played job these demons played us yeah of course uh, the Lord created uh, these uh, both of them but um, to go back and it goes into examine you know you're gonna check what he's going what is this man going to do so there no temptation taking you but such is common to man it is a part of our life uh, our, uh, our lives but the Heavenly Father is faithful, who will, not, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear. So you, you are able to, to, um, to, to go and carry through, becoming stronger. Because if you lift weight, you become stronger if you do it correctly, if you handle yourself correctly. Same thing in the truth. Your desire you will become stronger in the mind by going through a hardship, and now you can foresee certain troubles and help others also because you have experience in certain situations, so you can see it coming. And if someone goes through the similar things or even things that, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, basically that you can help other people by giving them advice. You know, bear it, hypo, hypofero to bear, be under, bear up. I think place on one's shoulders. You know, I had a lot of weight on my shoulders, man. Or that felt like a, a load on my chest, or you know, uh, as they say in, in worldly proverbs, it's like the things you're going through. It's not literally you're carrying something, but in in your mind, your mind becomes heavy. You become pressed, depressed. If you stick into certain situations or two certain situations and people, to so bear patiently, patient goes into, uh, uh, you know, suffering, to suffer. Because if you suffer, suffer not a wish to live. You don't allow a wish to live. But now you're allowing this uh, the Heavenly Father, if you're the Spirit, Lord willing, if you pray, to go through them things, to suffer these problems, to, to let that just go, and you are being molded by it, just like gold in the fire. Acceptable men are uh, tried in the furnace of adversity. To endure, it goes into duros, to become hard. Hard for what? If you're soft in, in hard situations, you know, and in, in, in times of toughness, you're going you're going just fold over, man. Like they say, like a lawn chair, like a cheap lawn chair, man. And just just cave in like a, you know, a bad constructed uh, building. So what you gonna do? Pray for strength. Pray to become stronger but back in second corinthians one so i need to wrap it up we need to go to camp man in a minute uh, second corinthians one verse four who comforted us in all our tribulation all your trouble that's that's the lord gonna help you and if he wants to destroy you he can also uh, put you know uh he can also allow certain things to happen unto you you know and eventually, you know, put you in, in, in some uh, situations, uh, you know, by allowing these spirits to jump on you. He takes his, he can take away his, his edge and then you're just demon fooled, man. These demons are already around us, just like angels are around us. Demons are also around us waiting to, to, to jump on you. And sometimes they do jump on you, 
But then you, you true by going through these situations, you, you become wiser and stronger. If you rebuke these spirits, your faith will become strong. You will see the Lord is, is helping me, man. Getting these spirits away from me through fasting, prayer, you know. But um, that we may uh, may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Yahweh. You see, so. To so continue, for as the sufferings of Yahweh Shai abound in us, so our consolation also abounded by Yahweh Shai. You know, so this is a beautiful thing. The Lord suffers for us, and we know about that. But what is the beautiful thing? The Lord suffers for us, and now we can grow in, in, in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That's the beauty. As much as He suffers for us, the the more he can uh, can can console us by being a mediator, you know, bringing us back as a propitiation, you know, as a as a consolation to the to the Lord to appease the wrath of the Lord upon us. And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring. Go to it, man. The ones who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Of the same sufferings which we also suffer. So, you know, you're not alone. Just like in Hebrews chapter 10. You know, other brothers suffer as well. You know, we are so used, as it says there. Or whether we can be, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. You know, and... We, Yahweh the Zah, you know, gonna get out of this, man, because, let me see, there are many scriptures, man, uh, Acts, let me see, 7, uh, it was it again, let me see, let me see, let me see, Romans, yeah, Romans 8, there's a need to, Grab me for a moment, Baba uh, Oh, yeah, of course. That's why you need to repeat these scriptures, man. I haven't been in this one a long time. It's not. <laughs> yeah, man. Let me just read. Uh, Acts 14, verse 22. Conforming, confirming the souls of, of the disciples. So, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, man. Even if you've been buffeted, you went to all this hell. Keep going on, keep going on, man. You know, the inside joke. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. But we know what the beauty is, man. The beauty is this. Of course, we. I have to get that also, man. 126, 125. Uh, no, it's 126. Psalm 126 and 5, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. You reap what you sow, right? So if you sow into the spirit, you will reap life everlasting. Romans chapter 8, you can also go into Galatians for that. You know, chapter 6 and uh, 7 and 8 and down. And also like, yeah, 7 and 8, is you reap what you sow and, you know, you need to sow to the spirit to reap life everlasting. Romans chapter 8, verse 18, to wrap it up with this. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Like the elder apostle Aramab said, man, what is a little, a few years of suffering to living forever, man? In, in total uh, righteousness, in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, being above our enemies, judging, judging our enemies, having revenge upon our enemies, being in peace. You know, so the things that you're going through until now, it's like a, it's, it's nothing, man, really. It seems hard, but really what we're going to get is your palm is beautiful, man. So with that, I would like to say, Allah, for giving me the spirit to do this video. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Mills on the rule well and the protest is truth. And Yahweh has been of any comfort uh, and edification, you know, to the 
Akion. Out there, man. Show, show one.